This is the fully electric SUV from Mercedes called the EQA. It is due to be launched in the spring of 2021. The first model is the EQA 250 and Mercedes aims to offer a whole family of EQA models, with output ranging from 140 through to more than 200 kilowatts, and with front wheel as well as all-wheel drive and indeed a vehicle with a range in excess of 500 kilometers. In this video we shall be looking at the subject of noise, vibration and harshness. The issue of NVH, noise, vibration, harshness, is particularly important in an electric car. In the absence of the noises normally associated with a car with a combustion engine, any vibrations or irritating noises such as tire noise become particularly intrusive. On top of this is the high frequency excitation of the electric motor. In order to meet the high standard of noise and vibration comfort, complex measures have been taken to isolate the electric powertrain from the chassis and body. Numerous damping measures enhance this effect. One of the development goals for the EQA was to achieve a balance between noise comfort and ride comfort at a high level. A particular focus of this work was on the noise from the drive system and the integration of the electric powertrain. Components with a relevance to NVH were configured accordingly during the digital development phase, checked in the hardware phase on test rigs and only then integrated into the vehicle. The final refinements were then undertaken during road testing. In the complete vehicle it was then possible to identify transmission paths, eliminate critical resonances and reduce the noise from the drive system to an acceptable level. As when a house is built, efforts were concentrated first on the body in white, platform and then on the interior fit-out and insulation, since the isolation or immediate encapsulation of the electric drive unit is demonstrably more effective than damping measures in the interior. The acoustic insulation measures include an enclosed passenger compartment, efficient damping systems on the metal surfaces and acoustically effective trim elements. The single speed transmission that forms an integral part of the electric powertrain at the front axle operates particularly smoothly thanks to the improved microgeometry of the gearing. NVH measures around the electric powertrain were incorporated into the EQA at an early stage of component development. The power electronics unit, for example, was reinforced and secured firmly to the housing. In an electrically powered vehicle, the low-frequency background noise associated with a combustion engine is missing, which means that high-frequency noises can become more apparent. For this reason, the front and rear axle power packs on the EQA have been isolated at several points. Components such as the supporting frame at the front axle, the rear axle subframe and even the rubber bushings were developed in tandem with the digital development phase and continually optimized. These efforts ensure that no irritating noises are perceptible inside the vehicle. Ancillary components, too, were significantly improved with respect to noise and vibration comfort. The air conditioning compressor, for example, together with the front power pack, was isolated from the supporting frame by means of rubber bonded metal elements. In order to reduce structure borne sound, the air conditioning pipes were modified to follow the rigid elements in the body shell, and the bearing points isolated as far as possible. In addition, the operating strategy of the air conditioning compressor avoids engine speeds that could have a detrimental impact on the noise level in the interior. This has no effect on climate comfort. In order to reduce road and tire noise, the engineers introduced a compact, shear resistant integral mount which has significantly increased the introductory rigidity at the guide bearing of the front axle the subframe of the multi-link rear axle is furthermore elastically isolated by rubber bushings the front subframe connection is integrated into the c-ring structure and therefore has the necessary rigidity for isolation 
A cross member is integrated into the multifunction recess to increase the introductory rigidity of the rear subframe connection. Low road and tire noise is an important factor in terms of ride comfort, particularly when driving on country roads. As well as on the configuration of the body shell structure and the sound insulation, development work focused on the dynamic transmission characteristics of the various axle components and elastomer bearings. The redesigned front axle subframe allows the connection rigidity for the suspension strut and brake to be significantly increased. Subframe mounts are used in all instances for the rear axle. In conjunction with the reinforcements introduced at the various connection points, this reduces the intrusion of noise. The bearing concept used in the case of the multi-link axle allows greater longitudinal vibration damping, while the dynamic transmission in a vertical direction remains limited. This is a bit different from what we normally do on this channel but we thought you might find it interesting as it is about electric vehicles. Who knows, perhaps before long we will have electric motorhomes with a range of 500 kilometers. Hyma, for example, has said that it will start to build all electric motorhomes once this barrier is broken. Thank you very much for listening, I hope you found this interesting. My name is Torsha, please write a nice comment below if you want to hear me in more videos. If you have not already done so, please subscribe. Thank you for being with us.